Hello booktube, today I'm going to be doing my um, history challenge TBR. Um, the history challenge is a reading event that's taking place the last two weeks in August. Um, and it is hosted by uh, Emma of A Cup of Books, Emma of Bookish Shenanigans, or Ginny of Bookish Shenanigans, sorry about that. Uh, Justin of Ghost Reader and Justin of Triumphal Reads and I will leave a link to all of the hosts um, channels down below. So for the history challenge there are a number of prompts um, and I think I'm going to be able to hit all of them so I'll mention them as I uh, get to the books. So the first book I'm going to be reading well I really shouldn't say that because well this one will be the first one I uh, start with but the rest of them I might change the order up um, as I feel like it but the first book up will cover quite a number of prompts and that book is the world turned upside down a history of the Chinese cultural revolution by Yang Jixing um, this is a big um, documentary uh, up close history of the Cultural Revolution, which was a movement in from 1966 to 1976, in which Mao Zedong um, unleashed the power of um, a radicalized youth against um, his political enemies as well as the perceived rightward shift in uh, Chinese culture that came out of the reaction to the um, Great Famine of a decade and more earlier or a few years actually because I think the Great Famine was the late 50s and very early 60s, so the Cultural Revolution was a few years later. Sorry about that. Um, so, The World Turned Upside Down uh, covers a number of prompts. Um, it is set on another continent. It is about China. Um, the writer is Chinese, which covers another prompt. It is a work in translation. It is about a social movement. And I think you can argue that it is a subject that is usually glossed over in one's history learning, unless you take specifically a Chinese history class. Um, so I'm thinking this covers five of the nine prompts. And I'm so looking forward to getting to uh, the world turned upside down. I read uh, Tombstone, his history of uh, Yang Jixing's history of the Great Chinese Famine a few months ago and loved it. So I'm quite looking forward to getting to the world turned upside down. The next three um, books are by women, so they cover that particular prompt. Um, the Woman Who Would Be King by Kara Cooney. This is a biography of Hachette's foot. Um, so it covers the biography memoir um, prompt. Uh, it is also in my favorite time period, which is the ancient world. Um, so quite looking forward to reading this. Um, I read Cooney's later um, When Wo Women Ruled the World and I had some issues with it, but I'm hoping that this is a biography of a chef's foot that those issues won't be as prevalent. Um, although I do want to give um, When Women Rule the World another go, because I do think it was a quite interesting book. So looking forward to getting to that. Because his foot, Hachette's foot is one of my favorite uh, pharaohs. So next up is uh, Republics of the New World 
um, The Revolutionary Political Experiment in 19th Century Latin America by Hilda Zapato. This is a history of uh, Latin America and a number of um, Latin American countries in the immediate aftermath of their independence from Spain. And the countries, uh, I don't know, they don't actually list it. So anyway. So quite looking forward to this um, book. Um, next up, well, I'm thinking cover the micro history prompt um, or the leisure hobby micro history. I don't really have uh, much in the way of that that I haven't already read. I was thinking of picking up uh, two books. There's one on Mahjong and one on home economics, but I haven't picked them up yet, so I can't use them for this challenge. So. Instead, I'm going to go with Knossos and the Prophets of Modernism by Kathy um, Gear. And this is about the discovery of the uh, Minoan civilization on Crete. And I'm quite looking forward to reading this. Um, that period of archaeology is very interesting, and I'm really excited to, reading, to read this. And finally, if I have enough time, and likely could also cover the uh, revisiting a subject you uh, had in school that kind of got glossed over or didn't have nearly enough attention, which, to be honest, is most history because you usually only have like a year or so. So anyway, and that is Empires of the Week. The Real Story of European Expansion and the Creation of the New World Order by J.C. Sharman. This is a book that argues that um, the um, colonialism was, well, let me read the back. What accounts for the rise of the state, the creation of the first global system, and the dominance of the West? The conventional answer asserts that superior, that superior technology, tactics, and institutions forged by Darwinian military competition gave Europeans a decisive advantage in war over other civilizations from 1500 onward. In contrast, Empires of the Weak argues that Europeans actually had no general military superiority in the early modern era. J.C. Sharman shows instead that European expansion from the 15th to 18th centuries is better explained by deference to strong Asian and African politics, polities. Disease in the Americas and maritime supremacy earned by default because the local land-oriented polities were largely indifferent to war and trade at sea. Empires of the Week demonstrates that the rise of the West was an exception in the prevailing world order. So that sounds very interesting and quite looking forward to reading it. Um, I've actually I've been wanting to pick uh, Empires of the Week up for about a year or so since I first uh, saw it mentioned on I think Steve Donahue's channel and I picked it up just recently with the uh, University of Princeton press cell so looking forward to getting to it so that was my uh, reading challenge TBR hopefully I'll be able to get to all of them in the coming week uh, I'm probably going to actually start my on Saturday instead of on Sunday um, because uh, the world turned upside down I'm thinking it's going to be about a week if not more of a read so but we'll see so anyway booktube that again was my I'm sorry I'm a bit frazzled which I usually am but anyway, so before I sign off, um, if you are at all curious about my package of bows, uh, the package I was expecting to come in yesterday did arrive today. So there they are over there. Um, so I will uh, report a bit more on that when I do my August book haul. So until next time, booktube. 
thank you, have a great afternoon, and stay safe.